Hi, my name is Joanne Marcinek, and my company is AskJoanne.com. We specialize in internet marketing made easy. Today we're going to talk about how to create a public Google Calendar that can be added to your website. An example of what this looks like when it's added to your website is on my website under Teleclasses and Presentations. These are events that I've added to my public Google Calendar that I've also got right here on my website. I can update this calendar with any web browser. I don't need to use website editing software to make any changes to this calendar at all. Also, any events on my public calendar are searchable by people through Google Search or Google Public Calendar Search. To get started, we're going to go to Google Calendar. I'm going to sign in with a demo Google account. If you don't yet have a Google account, click down here where it says Create a New Google Account. Now I've created this calendar and added an event. Adding an event is as easy as clicking on a spot on the calendar and typing in what you want to have. I'm going to go into Settings, Calendars, and then shared options, sharing options. I'm going to choose the option that says share all information on this calendar with everyone. They ask me if I'm sure because public calendars will appear in Google Calendar searches. Yes. Then I'm going to click Save. This is now a public calendar. To add this calendar to my website, I'll click down here on Manage Calendars. Once I'm in Manage Calendars, I go to General, sorry about that, no I don't, I go <laughs> click on Shared Edit Settings, then I click on Calendar Details. On the calendar details page, I can write a description of what this calendar is. For example, if it were uh, a calendar of free introductory events or a calendar of workshops I was doing or a calendar of teleclasses I was doing, I could put that description in here. I could put in a location if my workshops and intros were being done in a specific physical location. This is really helpful if people are using public calendar search to find out where you are. If you're doing teleclasses, you could even put a telephone class or the call-in number right here on the location. Next, what we want to do is go down to this section for the calendar address, and we click on HTML because that's the kind of code I want to be able to put into my website. I click on this button, and it gives me a web address to send people to view my calendar, but what I really want to do is embed the Google Calendar in my website or blog. Here, I click on the Configuration Tool. The Configuration Tool lets me put in the title of the calendar. I'm just going to call this Joanne's Calendar, but you could label it anything that you want. Uh, I'm going to choose to hide the logo Actually, no, I guess I'll leave all controls open. I can choose the size. I can choose whether it starts in a month view or an agenda view. I can show how tall the month is by how many events I want to show per page. When I've got it looking exactly the way I want it to, and the preview is down at the bottom of the page, this is what it's going to look like on my website, I click Update URL, and then I grab this piece of code and copy it. I'll then be able to take that code and paste it into my website to have it show up like this on my website, just embedded right into the HTML page. That little bit of code is something that you'll want to give to your web designer if you're not the person who updates your website. Then anytime you log back into your Google Calendar and make changes, they will be automatically reflected on your website. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for tuning in, and please, if you have any questions,
feel free to stop by at AskJoanne.com to give us a call at 203-364-0222 or to Skype me at AskJoanne. Thanks so much and have a great day.